In this video, we'll compute the expected value of a Poisson random variable. Expectation of a Poisson named after Poisson, great French mathematician. Lots of great French mathematicians doing probability back in the 1800s, and then I guess they all decided in the 1900s that it wasn't very interesting anymore, but Kolmogorov came along and proved them all wrong. So a Poisson random variable, so we say that x is Poisson, Poisson, with parameter lambda, if, uh, and so here lambda is a strictly positive real number. So x is Poisson, if it's PMF, probability that x equals k, equals, so it's e to the minus lambda times lambda to the k divided by k factorial. So now I should say, I haven't, I haven't done, computed this expectation for a while, uh, I guess a year or so maybe, and, but we're going to work it out together. This one, as I recall, it's not too difficult. You use the definition of uh, e to the x, something like that. So, so that's Poisson, and um, let me just give you a more precise, a little more precise formulation of a characterization of a Poisson random variable. So a Poisson is, I mentioned something earlier about in the another video about number of customers arriving at a store. So to make that more precise, let's say that this is time equals zero, t equals zero, t equals one, say one hour, something like that. And, uh, and suppose that the time for, uh, uh, between starting at zero, the, the time that a, the first customer arrives at an exponentially distributed time. So remember we have the definition of exponential random variable, and let's say that the, the time that the first customer arrives is exponentially distributed. So maybe it's here. So that's T1. And starting from T1, let's say that the time that the next customer arrives is also exponentially distributed, and independent of the previous one. So maybe he comes not too long after that one, T2. So, the, so in other words, this distance here, this t2 minus t1 is exponentially distributed. And the same thing for the next one, t3 is exponentially distributed, t3 minus t2 is exponentially distributed, and independent of the previous ones. And I'm, I should say it's, a, it's exponentially with parameter lambda. Then a Poisson random variable is the number of customers arriving in one hour's time. That's another way to characterize a Poisson random variable. And that's very close connection. So this sort of interpretation has a very close connection with the uh, what's called continuous time Markov processes. So a Poisson process is a continuous time Markov process. And that leads you down the path to Brownian motion and Gaussian, other Gaussian processes that are very, very interesting area. So let's compute this expectation. So e of x, we'll just use the definition. Oh, and I should have said k here is ranging over all the non-negative integers, so we have to sum over all the non-negative integers. k times p of k, and we'll, let's plug that in, see what happens. So we get k, e to the minus lambda, lambda to the k, divided by k factorial. Now e to the minus lambda is a constant, doesn't depend on k, so let's go ahead and pull that out. And ooh, oh, okay, so I see, uh, let's see, lambda to the k, k, okay, so I think we're going to use, I'm starting to see something here, k factorial. So, ah, ah, 
I think I see what's going on. So I'm seeing patterns. So that's a lot of math is, is pattern recognition. So let's um, let's so what the pattern that I'm seeing? Let me just say is the the formula for the series of a. I'll tell you what it is. The series. There's a series formulation for e to the x, which is the sum as k goes from zero to infinity of uh, x to the k divided by k factorial. And this looks a lot like that, right? Because here we've got k factorial on the bottom. We've got this. Only problem is this k hanging out here, which is messing things up. But it looks like things are going to work out if we cancel this. So, well, the first term, when k is 0, drops out. So we could replace this. Let's go ahead and do that. We could just start from 1 instead. So let's do that. And now we can cancel these k's. So we get, uh, what do we get? The sum lambda to the k over, and that's k minus 1 factorial, from 1 to infinity. And to make this look more like this, let's pull out a lambda. So let's think, make that k minus 1 and we'll pull out a lambda okay and okay now so now we'll do the trick of letting j equal k minus 1 we get lambda e to the minus lambda when k equals 1 j equals 0 so we can sum this up to infinity starting at 0 lambda uh, k minus 1 is j, so that's lambda to the j, divided by j factorial, and now we are in excellent, excellent shape because we can just apply our nice little, beautiful little formula here for the exponential, e to the x. It's called the, it's called the exponential function. So this is, this equals e to the lambda. We take lambda equal x. And uh, and and by the way, this formula holds for any real number x. Actually, holds for any complex number x, any finite complex number, but in particular, any real number. And uh, what do we get here? So, oh, right. So we get e to the lambda cancels the e to the minus lambda, and we're left with lambda. And lambda is the mean of a Poisson random variable.